Bruh, y'all niggas be murdering that like button on my mama though. On my mama though. On that nigga who tried to rape me though. Like, <laughs> nah, but for real though. If y'all niggas want to make this a weekly series, a weekly story time, go ahead and give me 3K likes on this video. And uh, yeah, I will make this a weekly thing. So every week you will see a new story time. So yeah. And if you ain't subscribed to the kid, go ahead and subscribe right now, my nigga. You can be a part of the illest, man. Because we, we making history over here, my nigga. But um, yeah, we're going to get into the story. I'm not going to spoil it like how I've been spoiling in my past story times. Uh, to where I always tell you what's going to happen. Ah, uh, no, no. We're going we to we scratch all that. So I, I, don't, I really don't remember what grade I was in. Because it, it was like in, the, like in the summertime. I believe I was in the 7th or 8th. Or maybe going into the ninth. It was one of those three. I mean, that really don't matter. You know a nigga was short. <laughs> you, you know that shit. But, um, yeah. So, this was, um, I was coming. Yeah, I know it was the summertime, though. Because I was coming from Atlanta. Because I used to always visit my aunt in um, Atlanta every single year, bro. It was so, I swear. No, no disrespect to my niggas in Atlanta. But y'all got so many fucking homosexuals out there. No disrespect to the homosexuals, too. But... Them niggas is gay, my nigga. Like, y'all gotta stay the fuck around me, man. I went to the goddamn... It was some... I forgot. It was some type of ghetto. It was the Waffle House, my nigga. I walk in there. And a nigga doing, like, the little fucking giving head types. Like, I, 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 I don't even want to talk about that shit. But, all right. So, I was coming from Atlanta, right? We getting ready to get on a plane. And I see um this short-ass nigga, Shardy Low. I don't really know. I probably put a, a picture in the video to show you guys who Shardy Low is. He got like 15 kids or some shit. He held a little, my nigga. I, I didn't ask him for no autograph because his music is fucking wax. I didn't really care. So I'm like, look at this nigga, Shardy Low. My, I mean, my aunt didn't know who he was or my brother didn't know who he was. But I'm like, look at this nigga, dumb little. Like, this nigga is a fucking midget. But he had two badass bitch. I'm talking about my Ooh. Delicious ass bitches, boy. I, you, bitch, you lucky my goddamn. I ain't. You, you don't know, bitch. You, you know, I will lay this D down on you. I, that's what all I was saying in my head, man. Shh, man, I, I really wish I could have talked to them bitches though. But I was hella young. But um, I, all right, as soon as we got on the plane, or our plane arrived, we got on the plane. We sat on there for about uh, like two hours. It took us two hours to get from Atlanta to my house. Well, not to my house, but to Illinois. So I got to Illinois. Then we go home. I, I fell asleep down there the whole ride. I was in fucking, I was fucking in the coma. That's how it felt, cause nigga, that that shit, like being on an airplane, that shit will really wear you out, my nigga. It's just like all this traveling and shit, and then flying over the fucking ocean. I mean, I don't even know we flew over the ocean, but it looked like it. But we in the car, I'm, we we knock the fuck out. We finally get home. And then when I'm get home, I'm fucking up, my nigga. I'm talking about all types of energy. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to do. So I get on fucking Mies. I don't know if you guys know what Mies is. I'll probably leave another picture in the, just in the fucking video to show you guys what Mies is. But it's like this virtual shit when you talk to all type of virtual bitches. And you have a fucking bitch in your room and all that shit. Yeah, I used to do that. Me and my cousin used to stay on Mies, have all the bad bitches. And uh, yeah, then and I was on MySpace at the time too. That's what back when MySpace was fucking hot, my nigga. I'm talking about Tom. Tom was your friend, my nigga. He used to be my top friend because that nigga was a support. He was a supporter. But um, yeah, I'm on MySpace talking to hoes, and I'm on uh, me's talking to you know virtual bitches. And uh, so I'm I'm just having a good time. Then my friend like, hey bro, can I come over? I'm like, yeah, sure, you can come over. He's like, uh, you, um, your mama can give me a ride. I'm like, no, nigga, do you not see what time it is? It was like fucking 12 o'clock at night. I like, all right, you can come over in the morning. So my mama go pick him up in the morning. He come over. We play like basketball damn near all day because we used to love playing fucking basketball. We go out there, hoop up them little weak ass niggas. I'm talking about we used to go out there and do some like some Harlem Globe Trotter type shit. I used to always do the um, move off a of fucking um, NBA streets. That little slip and slide move. Why used to break niggas with that? I, I swear. I wish I had like I wish technology is. I wish it was the way it is now back then, cause we would have recorded that shit. I, I damn near make this nigga fall. But then when, when we get done um, hooping, we go back to my house, and then we just playing the game and shit. You know, getting on me is like the usual. It was like the everyday shit. It was the summertime. We really didn't have too much to do, cause shit was expensive back then. So yeah, and then it started getting real late. So I go to sleep. He make him up, like he he go my um he go upstairs and go sleep in that den room. That's where the PlayStation at and stuff. I mean, I didn't have plays. I had Xbox 360. My uh, my my stepbrother had a PlayStation, so I, all the games was in there. He go up there, make a pallet and shit. I go in my room, cause you know real niggas sleep in their room, and I don't like niggas to sleep in my bed. Nobody sleeping in my bed unless you was a female. No, that is fucking gay. I'm like, I'm like, bro, you can go upstairs and make you a pallet. He went up there, made him a pallet. He went to sleep. So I get up early in the morning, cause we had school the next day. I get up around like 
like 6.30, I was in a good ass mood, I don't know, like, like a nigga just got like fucking head the whole fucking night or some shit, I go up, I get up like 6.30, go taking a, a, I'm talking about one of the best showers of all time, man. I'm talking about water was steaming hot, my nigga, I'm talking about, oh my god, I, if like, if like God touched me in that shower, and, oh, hold on, take and pause, my nigga, get that, no homo, that shit just sounded kind of, kind of gay, it felt like, it felt like, I, I don't even know, it, it was just a good ass shower, that's what I'm gonna say. So I get out the shower, put my clothes on, you know, nigga gotta be lotion, moist up, no homo. Put my clothes on, man, I had a nice ass fit. And this, you know, when you get a fit for uh, for school and you wanna wear it that next day, because, yeah, that was, this was the, like towards the end of the summer. That was the last day of summer. He spent, I don't know why, niggas always gonna come over to my house at the end of the, and the, and the, the last day of summer, some shit, I don't know. So I get my clean ass fit on. I had some like some clean ass Air Force Ones. They was all white too, my nigga. You know when you get dumb fresh, you find you iron your clothes. I'm talking about straight swag, my nigga. That, this was back in the day, you know when niggas just, they niggas didn't really wear skinny jeans. But um, yeah, I get my clothes on. I go get my book bag, and I, I, I go I go in the den to see if this nigga up, cause this nigga is fucking lazy. I go in the den. I hear I hear the fucking TV on. So I'm like, oh, this nigga must be up. So I, I slide the door open. I look over the couch. This nigga whacking his shit. I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga over here yanking a chain. This nigga going bananas on the ding dong. Like, oh my god, no homo. But this nigga was fucking beating this shit to death. Like, yeah, for the niggas that don't know what I'm talking about, this nigga was fucking jacking off in my house. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? He look at me. He look at me, hella scared. He, he just hurry up, like pull this shit out hella fast. I'm like, bro, your ass is the fucking faggot. What are you doing in my house? I, and this was like when this nigga, I mean, he was kind of young, but like, nigga, what the fuck, who the fuck does that in somebody else's home? This nigga over here whacking his fucking, this nigga whacking his shit in my house, my nigga, in, in front of my 360. On my, and this nigga was playing my controllers. I'm talking, I had to moist my controller, I had to fucking sanitize my controllers after the fucking day. This nigga pissed me the fuck off. I'm like, Man, is this, like, I'm like, hold on. I looked at this nigga, I'm like, no, this nigga didn't. No, this nigga didn't just beat his meat in my house in front of my 360 and play my control with my control. Oh my hell no, nah, my nigga, you gotta go. I ain't say that. I just walked out the room. I'm, I like, like I just walked out the room like I ain't even see shit. But in my head, it, I'm like, no. I, I mean, I, cause I couldn't fight that nigga because you know, nigga was little and he was he was tall. He was way taller than me. But and he was my homeboy at the same time. So I'm like, man. So I walk back in there. See what this nigga doing. This nigga looking at me salty as fuck. Like he just murdered somebody and you think I'm gonna tell on him. I'm like, bruh, you got your clothes. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got my clothes. I'm like, alright, bro, we gotta catch the bus, my nigga. We gotta catch the bus. He's like, alright. Then he would get to walk towards the bathroom. I'm like, man, make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> He's, like, He's like, nigga, shut up. I'm like, alright. I'm like, then we then when he come out the bathroom, I'm like, hey, you clean off my controller? He's like, nigga, shut the fuck up. I'm like, alright, hey. I just want to know if you cleaned off my controls, because I don't know. You might be over here spreading out babies and shit. I ain't got time for that. I don't want to goddamn touch my controller and some sticky shit come on my hand. No, my nigga, that's nasty. So, look, man, that shit was so fucking awesome with a guy. When I, when I first seen that shit, I, like, it feels like a piece of me was gone, my nigga, because that shit was homosexual. And I never thought, I never thought some shit like that, like, I would ever see some gay shit like that. And, like, why, why the fuck you want to do that in my house? Like, I don't know what he was watching. He was watching like some shit. He was watching like some MTV shit. You know, you do remember. I don't know if you guys remember them girls going wild. Yeah, that fucking shit was playing, my nigga. It, but it was a commercial though. So this man was trying to give him a little 30 second nut. Or some shit. <laughs> this nigga was fucking disgusting. Well, hopefully you guys like this this story time. Man. It was, I know it was kind of quick. I didn't want to like have you niggas here for like 11 minutes again. But yeah, man, if you want to hear. Every story, new stories every every week. Go ahead and slap that like button. Three K likes, and I got y'all with a new story every single week, my nigga. And now uh, yeah, I'm about to be out of here. Make sure you go follow me on um, goddamn what the fuck is that? Twitter, yeah, Twitter, my nigga, and Instagram. At, Instagram is killed them up, and um, Twitter is Machiavelli X95. And then and, uh, yeah, that's about it, my nigga. Uh, yeah, yeah, subscribe, my nigga. Like the video, peace.